Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today, I thought I would show you how to make um, my new little creation, my, my Lumigurumi jellyfish. And this is this is the one that I made the other day. I, I haven't actually finished it off. I've just got the uh, holder here. I'm going to probably put a little metal ring or something like that on it uh, so that I can hang it on something but this is my little chap so the things you're going to need I'm using two tone different colors in, in the one that I'm making to show you and I'm actually going to be using pink now we need eight of these tentacles so I've got so far three in the lighter pink and three in this darker pink so the lighter pink is the rainbow loom pink rose and it's pearl and then this darker pink which I'm using to offset it is the rainbow loom neon pink so I'm using those now my body the body of my um, jellyfish which is this part here I'm doing in that pearl okay the pearl um, pink rose you're also going to need two eyes I'm using the nine millimeter toy safety eyes and you'll need a couple of bands for the mouth as well so I'm going to do this tutorial a little bit differently first of all I'm going to try and do it as a pattern to show you um, rather than a full-on long tutorial because most of us have actually gone through the basics now and are very familiar with if you're not I will put links to show you the beginner's guide to the Lumigurumi uh, also my playlist on how to do the different stitches okay so they will be there if you do need help if this is your first project however I'm going to assume that this is not going to be the first project that the people who are doing this are doing so um, I'm going to try a different format we'll see how it goes it might be awful it might be not but it's going to take a lot less time so two colors we're going to need um, you're going to need your hook I'm using a 2.75 Clover Soft Touch. I prefer that. You're going to need some stitch markers. Um, I like these little stitch markers that close up. Um, I find them very handy. And I haven't got one to show you at the moment because it's on the end of here. There we go. This one here. And it locks in place. Okay, so I'm going to use one of those. As I said, you're going to pre-make these. I'm going to show you how to make one. You are going to make eight of them. All right, these are the tentacles. So we have the body of our jellyfish and we have the tentacles so let's get started oh you're going to need some stuffing too let's get started so one of the things you really need to remember with this particular video is to pause your video as you can see round one is a magic ring with six stitches now pause the video until you've done that part then when you're ready to start again it's going to move to the next slide which as you can see is now round two Round two is going to tell you that you need to do an increase in each stitch, which will give you a total of 12 stitches. OK, again, pause the video until you have done that and until you're ready to move to round three. And round three is going to be a single crochet in the first stitch with an increase in the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that until you get to the end of the round. You'll have 18 stitches now. Pause the video. Start it again when you're ready to do round four, which is a single crochet in your first two stitches and an increase in the third stitch. Repeat until the end, you'll have a total of 24 stitches. Pause your video as you're doing this. Round five, single crochet in the first three stitches. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. At the end of that round, you'll have 30 stitches. So for round six until round 14, that's nine rounds, you're going to do a single crochet in every stitch, okay? Only a single crochet. You will have nine rounds to do and you'll end up with 30 stitches, all right? So at this stage, your work should be looking like this. And it's about now that we're going to put our little eyes on. Now I have already clipped the little washer, the safety washer, into the eye. I find that easier when I'm working with bands. This is the back of our work, so squish it forward so that you know roughly where to go. Now, we're going to count six stitches up from our last round. So we're going to count this as one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
okay and I'm going to pop my hook just here and we want to have six stitches between our eyes so we could sort of do one two three four five this would be about right so six stitches up and six stitches between I'm going to put one there and I'm going to count that's one two three four five and six so I'm going to say about this one here and obviously it's just approximation so let's try that again one two three four five six I'm going to say here and I'm going to pop the other eye about like so all right if you want it down a little bit further by all means pop it down a little bit further it really doesn't matter let's see how it looks a little bit further down was that right <laughs> that could look cute too so I'm gonna do that let's see how many I've got one two three four five and six so that's about right I'm gonna do it like that okay now um, little mouth we're going to use black bands but I'm not ready to do that just yet our next stitch I'm going to do with you we're working in the post now we're working in the front post there's a back post and a front post for this we're working in the front post which means we're going to push our hook through the stitch this is the stitch that we've just been in I'm going to push my hook through okay but then I'm coming back through the other one and poking this little part out. Let me zoom in so you can see very clearly what I've done here. So normally we would go through our stitch, but this time we're coming back through like that and poking that little part out. So then you take your band and we're pulling it through and doing a crochet. We will put our stitch marker on that particular band. I will zoom back out so that you can see the whole lot. Okay, so around we go. Again, go through the stitch and push back out. And grab your band and do your single crochet. We're going to do this all the way around. This is working in the front post you will find on crochet patterns that it will be known as the FP all right and it changes the direction of your bands Round we go. Oops. Come back here, you little tricky one. There we are. Nearly at the end. Now you should not have increased or decreased the number of stitches that you have. You should still have 30 stitches. Now the next round we're going to start by doing some decreasing and I'm going to do that round with you as well to show you my version of the hidden decrease that I prefer. I do have a video showing about seven different varieties that other people have come up with of the hidden decrease um, and this is my preferred method I feel it is more true to the real crochet stitch of a hidden decrease and I also feel that the continuity of your work is not compromised um, in any way by doing it this way Oops, let's do that again. The 
crashing around you hear in the background is my daughter so let's have a count of our stitches quickly number one is on our stitch marker okay here it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three oh i need to count again i'm going to pop this on so i don't lose it there we go let's put that down so we've got one on our stitch marker two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 is here on our hook, on our stitch marker I should say. So I'm picking up my 30th stitch once more. Now as I mentioned we're doing decreases okay so we're going to go through our first stitch and do a single crochet and move your stitch marker. We're going to go into the second stitch and do a single crochet. We're going to go into the third stitch and do a single crochet. In the fourth stitch, we're going to join stitch four and five together. You're going in through the top loop and the top loop. I'm saying top loop, it's the loop furthest away from you if you to turn it like this, but it's the top loop because we've actually changed the direction of our stitch. Join those two together with your band, like so. Then you're going into the next stitch and we're doing three again, three single crochets. So one, two, three, and three. And then in the next two stitches, you're joining them together. So again, do you see how we've got the top and the bottom? We're going in through the top loop here, pulling that band together through both of those loops and doing your crochet. One, two, and three and then the next two stitches join together with your hidden decrease one two three join together with a hidden decrease oops let's do that properly One, two, three, join together the next two stitches with a hidden decrease. Whoops. One, two, three, and these last two stitches you're joining together with your hidden decrease. So I'm going to go back to our pattern format now. Okay, here we are. We've done our first round with our decreasing going to do a couple more rounds of decreasing and then we're going to put our stitch marker on our last and first stitch and we're going to work on our tentacles.
So as per our last slide, as you can see, this is my last band here. This, this last one here is my second single crochet in this last stitch. And I do my single crochet and then I have this little loop. And these are the loops that I'm talking about collecting on a stitch marker like so. So I have four of my pink tentacles, my light pink, and I have four of the neon pink. They are very neon in this, aren't they? And as you can see, I've got them each with their last loop being held on that. So next I'm going to move to the mouth and we're going back to the body here. Now I have put a black band here and here to indicate the start and the finish of my uh, mouth here. And as you can see, I have the little opening here which has 12 stitches all the way around. So what I'm gonna do, this is my first area here. I'm going to make my mouth go in this direction. So this is going to be where I poke my hook through. I'm coming out where I had that band and I'm gonna pull it through, okay, like so. Now I'm going the other way because Otherwise, I'll be working backwards. I'm moving from here to here, so I have to have my hook this way. So what I'm going to do is do a little slip knot. Now, as I said, I'm moving across this way, so I'm going to go into another stitch. You could go into this very next stitch, but it'll take more black bands. And that doesn't really matter too much. So there you go, one over the other. We have uh, cats playing with balls and stuff at the moment in their little spinning thing so I'm just doing little single crochets now this is quite a thick way of doing it if you want to do uh, a thinner way you you can but I'm preferring to do it this way for this and I'm going to go in here and then I'm going to go through this one here there's the end of my band so I'll pull this one through, do my single crochet. Now this little tie-off band here, this little loop that we got at the end, I'm going through the same hole that we're in, okay? And I'm gonna pull it back through and flip this so it's inside out. Now what I'm gonna do, you can see there's my little loop here. I'm gonna go grab that little loop, put it back on my hook, and I'm going back to one of the stitches that we've just made. And depending on, I don't want to pull it too tight, but there we go. I'm going to pull through here, push my hook through here. They're slippery. And I'm going to use the light pink bands because I don't want it to show too much. So I'm going to pull a light pink band through there and tie that nice and firmly. So that is how I did my little smile. Okay, now at this stage, we can actually stuff the head Okay, so I'm going to grab my stuffing and we will stuff it. I am using polyfill fibre. Um, this is this is not the one I normally use. I normally use one from um, Michaels, which is sort of a little bit more um, contained. This one is very loose. This is a very loose fibre fill, but it is it does the trick. If you don't have this, you can use tissues. You can use kitchen paper, bounty, toilet paper, cotton wool balls, anything that you can find, old yarn scraps, um, pieces of um, material, chop up an old t-shirt. You don't want to, to stuff it so that it's so full that this part bulges out. You want this part to be flat, okay? Because it's a jellyfish. So this part is rounded and this bottom part is flat. Now, we're now going to do a round of decreases okay so let's start with our decreases we've got 12 stitches which means we're going to use six bands okay we're going you can choose whether you do a hidden decrease or not it really doesn't matter I'm gonna go through the back loop of the first and the second stitch draw them together and do a single crochet and I'm going to move my stitch marker to that spot then we do the next two stitches. This is three and whoopsie, four. It can be a bit tricky because you've got stuffing in there now. And then we do five and six. Remember, we've got 12 in total. Seven 
and eight. Nine and ten. And then our last one here, 11 and 12. Oops, try it again, like so. Now instead of decreasing until I get to a point that I can close off, what I'm going to do is go through the post of each of these stitches. So here's my post here, put my hook in here, and I'm going to go through the post like this and pull it through. And I'm going to put my stitch marker on this little end, okay? To hold that in place and then I'm collecting all of these stitches so I'm going to go from the post again but this time I want it really to go on the on the back because I want to collect all of these do you see how I'm trying to to collect them all so that was the post there now if I just go from the post here it's not going to collect it do you see it's just gone straight through so let's Go back here come on you so I've gone through that so now I need to go from the top post so I need to go this way like that and then through this like so so I'm weaving it through so I'm underneath so I need to go on the top and then from the bottom so again I've gone one stitch further and I'm collecting it like so and again here I'm at the bottom, so I've got to go from this stitch, I've got to go on top. So at the beginning again, I have to go from the front, so I will collect it like that. So I have collected all of those stitches in one here. And I'm going to take a single band, like so, and tie them all together. Do you see how that's done? That's, that's a bit difficult to explain it. But basically, I've joined them all up. I've gone, I sort of weaved it from underneath and over, underneath and over that one last band to do that. I hope, I hope you can understand what, what I've done. All right, so I have this one tie-off band. That one tie-off band I'm just going to poke inside because we're going to hide all of that with our legs. So let's poke that inside. Come on, hide. Thank you. There we are, that's inside. So this is this is our our base. Okay. Now this is where we're going to use our legs. I'm going to take them off the stitch marker, but you have to be careful that you don't lose that last stitch. Okay, so like for this one, that nearly won't walk about. So just kind of tighten it up a little bit. Okay, you just want to be careful that you don't lose that last stitch. And we're going to alternate between which colour we put on. So first of all, and if it does undo, undo it, doesn't matter because you just redo it. So first of all, what we need to do, here's our little body here. I'm going to pick, this is the centre here. So we're going to pick a spot around the centre. So I'm going to go here, okay? Now, in order to actually put this through, I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to pull the loop that I have through. I'm going to hold, hold my little loop. And actually, I'm going to put a stitch marker on that so it doesn't go walk about. I'm going to push my hook through the four little loops that are the end cap. Okay, there's four little loops here that are the end cap. I'm going to take that loop again, take the stitch mark off and pull my little pink loop through. Okay, now what I need to do is find the next spot. So this will be my next spot and now I'm going to a pink one. All right. And again, I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to add that little pink loop, the light pink loop that I had on my hook to the darker pink. I'm going to put my stitch marker on the darker pink. I'm going to find my four little end bands, the little looped end cap. There we go. And I'm going to pull my dark pink loop through the little end cap like so. And I'm going to find my next spot. And again, I'm going to go in with my light pink. I'm going to go through the body 
and add my dark pink loop to that pale pink loop. I'm going to put my stitch marker on. I'm going to find my four little end cap loops, go through them. Oops, I've got three. <laughs> three here's number four there we go grab my little pink loop and pull it through now I'm looking for my next spot I'm going to pick just here now I pick a dark one go through the body add the little pink loop put my stitch marker on just so I don't lose that little loop go through the four little loops of my end cap grab my dark pink loop and pull it through for my next spot. So I've got four there already. So let's keep going around. Now I'm on a, a light pink again. Here we are. Pull it through, add my little pink loop, put my stitch marker on, find my four little end cap loops one two three and there's number four grab my little pink loop pull it through I'm going to go here whoops mine are still on the little end cap there grab my pink loop Add my little tiny light pink loop to it, pop my stitch marker on, go through my little four end cap loops, grab that little pink loop off the stitch marker, pull forward, find another spot here, pull this little loop through, add the dark pink loop, pop my stitch marker on, find my little end caps, come here little end caps, grab my little loop here, pull it through and one more spot to go, so let's see we'll go, oh I guess we'll go here. <laughs> Put my last loop on, pull it through, add that little loop to it, find my little end cap loops, here we are, three and four, grab my little loop, pull it through, oh, it's being silly. Let's hold that while I find those little loops again. No silliness on the last one. Thank you very much, Mr. Jellyfish or Mrs. Je I should say Mrs. Jellyfish. She's a beautiful pink colour. Three. Let's find four. There we go. Pop that on. Pull through. Now, I'm back at the beginning. I'm going to go through a loop here. And I'm going to find a light pink band. I'm going to put that through and add my loop. And this is where I'm going to tie off. Okay, and I'm going to tie off nice and tightly. And then this can just go inside our little creation in her belly. There we are. And then when you turn her around, there she is in all her little jellyfish glory. And there we are, we've got her in pink, we've got her in green. Now, you can, if you look at the bottom here, do you see how it's quite heavy? And so it's sort of pulling this down. What I did, and with this one I actually capped, made a capped band chain. But what you can do is go through, now that little band that we had that we tied off, go through normally with a regular band at the very, very base in the middle, and then do a capped band okay and you make a chain of these capped bands like this okay now I'm, I can't remember how, how many I did I will count 
at some stage I'm sure but you want it to be long enough that it can go through the center of your jellyfish okay so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to keep doing this and tell you when I'm done how many I needed to do and then I'll show you what I do with it okay so I have chained with cat bands 20 so far okay I'm going to take this off I'm just going to put my little end here actually I'll put a normal band through okay I'm going to put a normal band through like so and just almost do it like a little tie-off band but I'm going to be undoing this to make it as long or as short as I want now what you're going to do go through the center where you see the magic ring that we started with you're going to push your hook through the center until you come out at the very base of your creation grab that little band that little loop that we just made and you need to pull this all the way through now you might need to twist and turn a little bit and you might let go by mistake <laughs> like I just did here we go here we go and some of the stuffing will come out don't worry about it you can stuff it back in so there we go there's my little band I'm going to put my stitch marker on that so I don't lose it I'm going to pull it through there we go right do you see how I've got some of the stuffing out with it but when I tug that when I make it nice and tight it pulls this bottom bit up and it keeps it taut okay and then you can obviously just stuff the stuffing back down into her little body as you need to okay so that works quite nicely take the excess of the stuffing off but then you can make this however long you want it doesn't have to be 20 20 is very short you don't have to have this at all if you don't want it um, it's just quite nice to be able to hang it from there but it does act as a way to keep this um, sort of tucked up so it's not uh, pulling the weight of the tentacles aren't pulling the bottom of your jellyfish down but as I said you can make this as long or as short or don't have it at all it's completely up to you but there we go there's our little jellyfish I've got her in pink I've got her in the greens and I also crocheted one with purple with yarn and that one turned out really cute too it did turn out a little bit smaller I did use a 2.75 hook with that one too but she's really cute she's like the baby so there you go I hope you enjoyed big thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to find out when I have new content take care everyone Bye.